Good afternoon. We're going to go ahead and get our program started. I'd like to welcome you to the pinning ceremony for the class of 2021. I'm Patty Snyder, the Associate Director for Undergraduate Nursing here at Ohio University School of Nursing. I would like to welcome a few other people. We have our school director, Dr. Shar Miller. He's back there waving. Thank you. Um, I, oh, there he is. Uh, dean John McCarthy is our uh, dean. Dr. John McCarthy is the dean of the College of Health Sciences and Professions. We thank you for coming today as well. I would like to congratulate the Ohio University School of Nursing's graduating BSN class of 2021. You have completed a rigorous nursing curriculum and have prepared yourselves for a lifetime of nursing service. Today's pinning ceremony is a celebration of your student success and a platform for your transition into the nursing profession as a bachelor's prepared registered nurse. Today you are being pinned. The nursing pinning ceremony marks a welcome into the profession of nursing. A pinning ceremony is performed at many nursing schools across the country. Ohio University School of Nursing is no exception. We are proud of our students, our graduates, our alumna, and we are very proud of the pin and the excellence in nursing education that it represents. Please wear it with pride. I have, mine, I have mine on today, and I do wear it with pride. I would like to welcome and introduce senior nursing student Andrew Bruno, who will address the class of 2021. Due to, this, due to the ceremony being um, social distanced inside, that uh, we will do the pinning very last. We will do the Nightingale Pledge prior to the pinning. Again, welcome. Good afternoon, fellow Bobcats, faculty, family, and friends watching from home. I'm not one for public speaking or long-winded speeches, so I'll try to keep this concise. The rigors of our journey to becoming an RSN, a BSN RN graduate from our great university in combination with everybody's unique extracurricular activities, jobs, family matters, or whatever takes up your schedule has left us little time to reflect on our journey. I find it necessary to reflect back on my time as a student nurse because we have all grown as a result of our unique experiences. I will remember the countless hours studying for pre-nursing classes just to gain entrance into the program and the long wait the following summer to see if I was accepted. I can remember sophomore year when I felt I did not have the mental capacity to answer a foundation's question correctly, or the first patient encounter at the Laurels that will stick with me for the rest of my life. Junior year presented a whole new obstacle that no one could have imagined, but we've all become accustomed to, which is COVID-19. Rapid changes for our daily and scholarly lives took place, and we all had to embrace the change to achieve our goals. These changes spilled over into our senior year and created some frustration with our preceptorship placements and unclear future. These changes offered us a new opportunity that I believe that each student and faculty member embraced in order to be here today. It offered us the opportunity to adapt to a constantly changing situation and guidance. It enabled us to experience what we will with our patients for the rest of our lives, a fluid situation in which we have the tools to address and overcome. Changes aren't permanent, but ch uh, change is, changes aren't permanent, but change is, to quote from the great band Rush. We are now inches away from completing our journey and entering the well-respected field and profession of nursing. I urge everyone, including current healthcare professionals, to remember what propelled you to choose the medical field. For me, it's a pretty easy answer. Every day, I get to help patients towards the path of recovery and regaining their lives. It's the indescribable feeling of pride when helping a patient with the simplest tasks that make them feel human again and the small smile you get in return. It is taking the time to listen not only to the patient's concerns, but the concerns of their loved ones and using your input to better your care. 
I would be remiss to say if nursing does not come with some crappy situations, both literally and metaphorically speaking. It comes with fatigue from long hours that have increased in prevalence because of the pandemic. It comes with emotional trauma from seeing patients pass that we have formed bonds with. And it is a common trait amongst all nurses putting others before yourself. By remembering that the positives of our future pr profession far outweigh our challenges, we can still achieve happiness and impact the lives of our future patients. Finally, I want to urge all students to give thanks to the people who made this achievement possible. Call your parents and thank them for supporting you because I'm sure we've all leaned on them to prevent a late night pre-exam meltdown. Thank the faculty for their diligence in delivering us the best possible education in the middle of a pandemic. Thank your fellow students for trailing your challenges and having, little, and having a little fun uptown to blow off some steam. And finally, thank yourself for your perseverance in graduating with your BSN RN in these unprecedented times. I personally would like to thank my parents for instilling in me the values that enabled me to be in my current position. Without their unfaltering guidance and support, it surely would not have been attainable. As we embark on the new start of our new journey in adulthood, as a nursing career path, remember that the lessons you have learned as your time as a Bobcat, and keep in mind that every day, in whatever nursing discipline you choose, you have the ability to make a positive impact in the world every day. Do not settle for being an average nurse because being exceptional is needed now more than ever. Attack each workday, patient interaction, life-saving opportunity, and personal goal with the same intensity that earned you this degree, and greatness will surely follow. I respect every member of the 2021 School of Nursing graduates for answering the call of an altruistic career and wish you the best of luck in your future pursuits. See you on Court Street for some uh, health conscious and responsible celebration. <laughs> I'd like to uh, welcome Dr. Buckman who will uh, speak now. Wow, that's hard to follow. <laughs> I'm already emotional, so hopefully I can get through this. But hello, future nurses. You know I start my announcements with that all the time. But the next time that I see you, hopefully I'll be saying congratulations on your RN. Well deserved. So the students know me as Dr. Buckman, but to those of you, if you're watching online, my name is Sherlina, and I'm one of the many faculty members that have had a small part in making your student into the wonderful nurse that they will soon be. Sorry. <laughs> to our class of 2021, you have faced many hardships. None of us can deny that. This pandemic that is upon us has altered the path that you thought your nursing education would take. From losing loved ones to working extra hours to help pay for your schooling and living expenses, to missing time on campus with your friends, and even sitting in a classroom with your faculty. Please know that we, the faculty, have missed that time as well. So let us all take a brief moment and reflect on those things that we have lost. Okay. Now, let's highlight all of those things that make us Bobcat nurses. When I think about the class of 2021, some sentiments that come to mind are perseverance and dedication, grace and kindness, and communication and respect. Throughout the four or five years that you've been in the nursing program, you have persevered. You have shown your dedication to the profession. During your freshman year, you took general education requirements that at the time felt like you would never get through them, but you did. You had one pre-nursing course during that freshman year in which we gave you a very brief introduction to what nursing would be like. Then during your sophomore year, you were accepted into the program. You were ecstatic as you realized that this was a very selective program and you were chosen. You were able to attend your first lab and then your first clinical. And during that time, you wondered if you would ever be able to provide care to more than one patient at a time, but you did it. You persevered. Going into your junior year, you were so excited to move into your medical surgical courses and further your clinical experience. You did that throughout your fall semester and you were successful. Then during your spring semester, we were hit with a worldwide pandemic. None of us would predict that over a year later, we would still be dealing with this pandemic. The remainder of your junior year and your senior year 
you had to attend virtual classes wherever you could get internet services. Even if the power was out at your apartment complexes and you had to go to a friend's house or the library, you did it, you persevered. You continue to show your dedication of attending classes even when you did not have any clean clothes. You persevered and attended my class in your pajamas, showing your dedication to your education. This year, your dedication was further put to the test by having a night shift lab. But what did you do? With lots of coffee, social distancing, and extreme safety measures, you persevered. You absorbed new knowledge, applied skills, and further developed your nursing attitudes. You were placed into clinical sites that may not have been your first choice, but what did you do? You dedicated your time and committed yourself to give your all at those clinical sites, representing the School of Nursing in such a positive light. Once again, you persevered. The faculty and I cannot be more proud of how you represented us out in our communities. You administered countless number of COVID vaccines. You assisted with COVID testing at Ohio's Vault Testing Center. And you worked in various units at clinical sites, perfecting what you have learned over the last three years in the nursing program. Your grace and kindness have carried your faculty throughout this difficult year plus. Your faculty miss you. We miss seeing you. We miss talking to you. We miss you coming into our offices. We miss seeing you sit down in the lobby and study. But throughout this process, we have gained some new ways of interacting and communicating with you. We've used online meeting platforms such as Zoom and Teams, and at times they didn't function in the way that we wanted them to, but your kindness and your grace help us to move past these difficult moments. This year, many of your faculty went to clinical sites, some taking full groups this semester. No faculty was forced to do that. We chose to be at the clinical in hopes of enriching the experiences that you would get because we wanted to support you and offer our grace and kindness. Furthermore, we had to make adjustments to our calendars, sometimes on a daily basis, especially during the unknown at the end of your junior year when the pandemic was first impacting our lives here at Ohio on a personal level. And often things were changing by the minute, even into your senior year. And what did you do? Again, you showed us grace and kindness. Your communication skills has vastly improved over this past year. You found ways to communicate not only with each other, but often with the patients at your clinical sites when they were unable to have visitors. You stepped in. You filled that gap either by assisting with phone calls, using iPads to help set up virtual meetings, or sometimes being there with the patient who had no loved ones for you to reach out to. You demonstrated such respect to your patients. Additionally, all of you were provided with my cell phone number, as well as other faculty members' personal cell phone numbers. Many of you took advantage of texting me or calling me no matter the hour, day, or night. <laughs> and I did not mind at all. Having that open communication has helped us to develop a respectful, meaningful, professional relationship. And I hope that you continue to call me or text me or any of the faculty and keep us updated on your lives. As of this morning, 92 of you, which is 75% of your class, have accepted a nursing position. We have students going out of state. We have students going to large facilities such as Vanderbilt and Duke and joining the United States Army Nurses Corps. In addition, we have many students staying in Ohio, some working at our clinical partner sites and others branching out. As for those of you that are still looking for a position or just have not yet committed to one, it is okay. We do not cut off communication with you as of graduation, so please continue to reach out and allow us to help you. Our Bobcat nurses are highly sought after. It is due to all the beautiful characteristics that you have, your perseverance and dedication, your grace and kindness, and communication and respect, these qualities that our Bobcat nurses have are exhibited in you and will lead you into a wonderful nursing career. So today, as you are pinned with an Ohio University Bobcat nursing pin, 
wear it proudly, and know that we are very proud of each and every one of you. Thank you. I have the privilege of introducing your next speaker, Eliza Harper. Okay, hello everyone. Um, I just real quickly want to echo what Dr. Buckman has just said. We want to thank you for your grace that you extended to the faculty, the staff, and each other. The year has been tough, but thank you. So I would like to talk to you just briefly about the lamp of knowledge. And you all know how I feel about Florence Nightingale, right? You've heard it? Yeah, Flo, our homegirl, right? Okay. So the lamp of knowledge represents nursing traditions of selflessness, work, dedication, and the significance goes back to Florence Nightingale in the mid-1850s. She left and attended the Crimean War to attend to injured soldiers with another group of women. So we know that she was a social reformer, a statistician, political lobbyist, and founder of modern nursing. A lot of good qualities, huh? Say, so Florence became known as the lady with the lamp. She carried the lamp during her long hours as she traveled through four miles of hallways to care for her patients. So the lamp now symbolizes the light that you become to your patients as a symbol of hope and comfort to those who are suffering. It represents the intense studying, a source of intellect, wisdom, and a spiritual illumination. It represents the enlightenment that comes with the knowledge that you've attained. Symbolically, the lamp represents your gateway from student nurse to professional nurse. So today, as I light the lamp, magic, huh? Um, we will pass it on to your class, and it symbolizes the knowledge that has been passed from your nursing instructors to you. I will pass the flame to your class representative, Andrew. Andrew will then pass this flame throughout your class to each member of your class. Okay, if you could all just pass, just all turn your flames on <laughs> so, we can, so we can maintain social distance. Are we on? Okay. Your class representative will now pass the flame to the junior class representative, Cameron McKay. This symbolizes the passing of knowledge to the class of 2022. You will hold the flame in commitment to the profession of nursing as you recite the nursing pledge. I would like to now introduce Robin Rice to discuss the significance of the nursing pen. The history of the nursing pen. The nursing pen is a symbol with rich history dating back to the Crusades. In the 12th century during the Crusades, the monks tending to the wounded soldiers were given a Maltese cross to wear on their arm. The awarding of the cross became ceremony, which later evolved into the first nursing pinning ceremony. As most of you know, Florence Nightingale was the founder of modern nursing. 
It was when Nightingale began presenting awards for nursing excellence in the 1860s that the idea of a badge became popular and was initially used to signify exemplary work in nursing. The Nightingale School of Nursing designed a badge with a Maltese cross and then awarded these badges to nurses as they completed their program. The badge symbolized educated people who were prepared to serve the health needs of the society. Schools of nursing over time have designed and awarded their own customized pins. In the United States, the first pin was presented to a graduating class at Bellevue Hospital in New York City. The pin featured a crane in the center signifying vigilance, encircled by a band of blue to sig signify faithfulness and consistency, and an outer band of red which signified mercy and relief of suffering. This pin further symbolized the completion of educational requirements that enabled them to practice nursing. The Ohio University School of Nursing pin is unique. Ohio University was established on February 18, 1804, making Ohio University the first institution of higher education in Ohio. By being recognized as the first university in Ohio, the Ohio University School of Nursing is the only school in the state that has the liberty and honor of using the great seal of the state of Ohio as the nursing pin emblem. The state of Ohio has an official seal from, has been an official seal for more than 200 years. Much like the seal of the state of Ohio and incorporated into the Ohio University School of Nursing pin are many historical aspects representing the state of Ohio. There is representation of the first capital of the state, the 13 colonies, agriculture and bounty, and, and representation of Ohio's Native Americans and Ohio being the 17th state to enter the Union. The Ohio University nursing pin signifies in Roman numerals the year of 1804 when the university was established. The pin also signifies the year 1975. Although a traditional four-year bachelor, bachelor of Science in Nursing program was not started until 2009, it was in 1975 when Ohio University School of Nursing established a Bachelor of Science in Nursing program as an avenue for diploma and associate degree nurses to obtain their bachelor's degree. The official Ohio University Bachelor of Science in Nursing pin is a common bond of past, present, and future Ohio School of Nursing graduates. Please wear your pin with pride and proudly. Through your hard work and dedication, you have earned it. Much success to each one of you. I'd like to introduce Monica Rones, who will lead you in the Nightingale Pledge. Thank you. The Nightingale Pledge is on the back of your program, if you haven't found it yet, and we will recite that together at this time. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to pass my life in purity and to practice my profession faithfully. I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous and will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drug. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession and will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling. With loyalty will I endeavor to aid the physician in his work and devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. This time I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Carol Schomleffel, who will be announcing the presentation of the nursing pens. It is running now. 
is recorded and we will be sending it. We have had some difficulty with the Zoom link. Um, however, we have recorded it, so we will be playing it if your parents want to re-watch. It is online now, and so they will be able to see you get your pen. But if they would like to see the entire program, it is recorded, and we will be posting that for you. Um, so even though you're leaving us, look for your, at your blackboard. Okay. <laughs> okay. So at this time, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating class of 2021, and we'll begin with the pens. Andrew Bruno. Brandon Joseph Sedoti, Mallory Lauren Wells, Ellie Elizabeth Irvine. Dominique Rose Esposito. Anna Rabold. Ivana Gregov. Anna Denise Lunken. Arden K. Gerlach. Olivia Lauren Francis. Megan Patricia Tomsich. Audrey Sega. Deandra Novella King. Hannah Allison Johnson. Madison Paige Harris. Aaliyah Houston. Julia Robertson.
Samantha Cercena. Victoria Ann Sanborn. Alyssa Kalinsky. Alexis Marie Menton. Mark Maldovan. Holden Mitchell Willett. Evan Patterson. Cameron Presco. Marissa Lippian. Kennedy Ann Wells. Claire Riccobono. Emily Marie Foss. Kirsten Campbell. Talia Zavarella. Samantha Phillips. Brianna Lloyd. Sarah Lichtner. Malcolm Todd Kirksey. Brendan Leiniger.
Lizzie Sabo. <laughs> Elizabeth June Sims. Madison Paid Lens. Claire Grace Cantleberry. Sarah Helber. Jacqueline Rothney. Catherine Kelly Katie Lehman Makaya Cherie Alverson Riley Noel Lancet Calicoat Alexa Ann Harcourt. Kathleen Gregory Molly Renee Leach Aaron Wood Skylar White Evelyn Gorman
Alexis Grinig. Bridget Wheat. Kelsey Madison Fring. Abby Danelle Miller. Nicole Thatcher. Taryn Mackenzie Berkeley. Caroline Rose Compton. Morgan Danielle Coleman. Maggie Root. Katie Lynn Panic. Jaden Elizabeth Johnson. Bridget Laffey. Sarah Owen. Molly McKay. Caitlin Schnur. Malia and Miracle. Kenzie Lee Bush.
Jenna Gastineau. Jessica Casho. Scott Wing. Alyssa Passante. Renee Andrews. Maggie Scales. Ali Kurlak. Jackie Jordan. Sydney Hall. Madison Nicole Park. Bridget Ledbetter. Katie Rose Schweppe. Bailey Odessa Polinori. Olivia Claire Albrecht. Caroline Elizabeth Bula. Erica Archer. Sammy Sabina.
Emily, call me. Maria Castro Villari. Randy, sit low. 